not just lack of finance that can be a problem. What if your business was surrounded by acres of dismal, derelict land? A leading entrepreneur facing just that problem decided to make the area more appealing by planting wild flowers in the hope of attracting investment. The wasteland was created when homes were demolished under a controversial government-backed scheme. Here's our Staffordshire reporter, Liz Copper. Next to the Victorian Bridgewater factory in Hanley, swathes of wildflowers, cornflowers and sunflowers. There used to be rows of red brick terraced homes here, but they were demolished. Matthew Rice hopes the flowers will encourage developers. There used to be a big sign hanging on the end of the last terrace saying, Welcome to Beirut as you came in here. Well, it's got to make the, 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 the very centre of the city into the place that people want to live. And by, and by doing that, you then revitalise the economy. But can planting flowers on derelict lands really improve a city's image and prompt investment? Well, it, it's, it's very important for a city um, because you want to present a good image to inward investors. If they come into a city and the first thing they see is derelict land just lying about, it suggests the city doesn't care, it's neglected, that it's unprofessional. All this land was part of a scheme known as the Pathfinder Project. Just around the corner, more abandoned houses also part of the scheme. The last Labour government made millions of pounds available to demolish homes. The coalition was against the policy and ended funding. It was mired in controversy. The latest twist, there's to be a High Court review into the government's decision to make money available to improve areas blighted by being left in limbo. Many families who used to live here remain disillusioned. I didn't want to move. We had good times here and it's a shame as it's been left as it is now. It's been like this for a long time. Um, I'm glad they put some of there because it just looked horrible before. It was just all mud and bricks and stuff and it was a bit of an eyesore really. Stoke-on-Trent City Council, which now owns this land, says it'll be asking housing developers to invest here in the new year. That's been done before. The challenge will be to encourage economic growth in the long term. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Stoke-on-Trent.